Hey everyone, in this video we launched from St Margaret's in Dover. Now we were meant to launch from Shakespeare Beach but the conditions were just too rough. But luckily around the corner here at St Margaret's it was a lot calmer and we were able to launch. Um, I went out with the intention of finding my first mackerel of the year, doing some trolling for some bass and trying out a rig that I never used on a kayak before. Let's see how I got on. Oh. Right guys, we've paddled offshore at St Margaret's, maybe a quarter mile out if that, and we've just got to a shelf where it's dropped down from only a couple of metres down to about 11 metres, um, and the shelf just keeps going, the further we go out to the sea, it'll drop down to 18, then like 20, 26, so relatively deep water now, deep enough to fish in. Um, I'm just going to have a quick go with my sabikis for a minute but I think the plan is the tide is going to take us towards the Port of Dover for a little while and then hopefully start pushing us back up towards like Kingsdown. I'm going to try a slightly different rig on the kayak for the first time so it's kind of like a free flapper but with bait stops and floaty beads. Let's see what, what we'll actually eat one of these rigs. Um, I'm hoping for bream. I would quite like to catch a little black bream. Um, so I've kept the hooks fairly small on this, but yeah, basically free flapper, floaty beads, and a 10 ounce ball weight. And I might have to change my direction, it's going to see which way the wind wants to swing me. I think it wants to swing me this way. I haven't got a drogue, so I haven't really got much choice. Um, this rod is literally my 13 foot beach caster, so I've got that pen in a boat rod and I couldn't get the line for it this time. I managed to do it last time before I went out, but this time we tried like various different lines, couldn't get it to go through, so I gave up in the end. And uh, yeah, took two pieces, of my, two pieces of my 13 foot beach caster. And I'm gonna fish with it like this. So it would seem like I'm swinging around this way now. So I'm gonna drop my bait off on this side. Not even gonna try to cast this one. Just gonna drop it down. decent amount of water now. Yeah, we've just hit the bottom there. Uh, I'm going to try it on the very bottom for a bit. Like normal style, so I'm still letting line out as I drift. So the uh, the baits are being away from me. But I might try it quite taut as well. Cool. It doesn't feel like it knows which way it wants to spin me today. I was facing that way a moment ago. Now I'm starting to swing back around this way. Which is making it a bit of a pain to fish. Anyway, I'm going to get my feathers back down there and uh, see how that goes for just a minute. You know what? We've learned from this, we'll keep the net on the boat, easily accessible right in front of my feet. What a stunning day to be out. that far off the edge of the port anymore. So we've got to keep, keep an eye on that. And then we've been told there's an eddy near the wall of the port. So we'll try getting that and see if there's any fish in that eddy. That bait rod's going so much, I've got to have a look. that are just bouncing along the bottom as we're drifting. There's their fish. Can't feel anything through the rod at the moment. Nah, no fish. So all that movement was just it bouncing along. I'll send it back down. See I'll try out with this rig for a little bit. Then I'll probably switch back to a running ledger. Oh, 
Alrighty guys, I've gone back to a more ledger style rig. I think it's going to do better while we're drifting. Maybe for anchor upper again. If I anchor up, then I'll use that rig again. But for now, I've just got a 3 -o hook with a nice bit of frozen peeler crab on there. Let's get that down there. Let's see if we can find anyone. But yeah. That port ain't too far away. I feel like we might have actually hit the eddy. Simon, what did you say that bit over there was called? That's Langdon Hole. Langdon Hole. So we've got Langdon Hole within our view, just over there to our left. Ah, there should be a boat wreck behind us. Ah, uh, yeah, I've heard about that. See, it might be nice to go paddle in and try to take a look at that in a bit. Fish or were you just snagged up? Ah, that's just been snagged up. I'll send it back down again. But yeah, hopefully we'll start finding some fish soon. If not, I'll paddle in and go have a look at the wreck. Look at that. Hit the bottom, I'll probably get a few meters out, but I'm gonna keep going until I've let three times as much out. So that might probably almost clear this reel. Oh, a bit of line left on there. I'm gonna do I'll send it down the wrong side man, because he's on the other side. Shoot. Yeah, what well, I did. Paddle over the top of it. I can hear the announcements on the ferry over there. Alright, let that go in the water. down the right side of my boat. And I'm gonna clip on to this bit of bungee that's tied on to the metal, metal o-ring down here. Check the paddle around this way. And then send to the back of the boat. Like that, and I'm at anchor. Just watching for a minute, making sure everything's okay. And we seem to be good. All right, let's get on with a bit of fishing. Got a big old headache right now as well. Open anything. All right, guys, got a running ledger set up over here and a nice big old king rag on a 3 0 hook. There we go, I'll call it. Now, I'm just going to do my best to flick this away from the boat. 
especially now on my anchor. And we'll be fishing with some bait. Yeah, got a few feet off the boat there. Just see at the bottom, as always, a little bit of spare line and light rods fishing. All right, I think I'm going to set up some uh, feathers on the other rod, I've taken the sabikis off or broken them more like because they got tangled up with something else. Two dogs for the price of one on the ragworm. I think they're both male. Back you go. And back you go. Alright, I think I'm shifting on my anchor a little bit. I'm not too sure. But I'm uh, going to pull it up anyway just to be safe. Alright, guys, we're going to start paddling back up towards St. Margaret's where the vehicles are parked. So. I'm going to set up a deep diving trolling lure for the paddle home. So we're paddling over quite a lot of reefs. Um, there is quite a bit of seaweed about, which isn't going to make life easy. I pulled my hook eyes up earlier and just smothered in seaweed. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this has been my favourite lure from the last three trips. It's caught me a fish. Every time I've been out, i see if it can do it for me again. As always, it's wrapped around a rod. Cast it behind me. Made it a fair distance, and as always, leave that bale arm open and I'll see how it goes. Trolling with the hawk eyes as well at the same time. Can be problematic. Right, let's hit bottom. I'm gonna come a good couple of reels up just to deal with any changing depths on the bottom so it doesn't snag up, hopefully. Right, the bail arm's still open on the lure rod. I'm gonna start paddling. far enough away from the boat now. Let's flip that bear alarm down. How you doing bud? Need a wee? <laughs> he needs a wee. Alright, we're on our way back to the vehicles. Simon's doing the same as me, at least with a deep diving lure. Oh, the feathers work out for me again. So, trolling some Hawkeyes. I have a couple of nice mackers there. Look at that bottom one. He's an actual beast. Might have to let that top one go. But happy days. Let's try to get the measure up. Woo! They're about. Save the blank on the session with them. And it's good to know that they're about and catchable. Whoa. Let's have a look at this man. So the bigger one's coming up about 30 centimeters. Dun, dun, dun. Just gonna triple check. So he's bang on the legal keep limit. And this guy is only 26, 
so he's four centimetres too short, we'll have to put him back. I think we're on to more matches here, but... Just the one, but he looks decent. Happy days, lovely fella. That's what alerted me, I could hear a rattling. I was rattling the entire rod in the rod rest. Right well, guys, it's reached that time when I have to head in. A, it's getting dark and B, I have to go get banded. So, time to go. Um, I know I wasn't that, that productive on the fish. I've got three mackerel and two dogfish. But um, what an absolutely stunning place to go for the paddle. Definitely try here again soon. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, see you next time.